Hi, I'm Anu, a critical care resource nurse. After your tracheostomy tube is placed, you'll need to learn how to care for, suction, and clean the trach tube. Most of the time, this care will go smoothly. But challenges and even emergencies related to the trach tube can happen, and it's important that you're prepared to manage these rare but sometimes life-threatening situations. While we can't discuss all emergencies, this video shows you how to respond in the event of a tracheostomy occlusion, dislodgement, or bleeding. While in the hospital, you will begin to learn the difference between normal and abnormal breathing. It's essential to keep an eye out for any signs of occlusion. If there's difficulty breathing, gurgling sounds, or chest discomfort, it could indicate an occluded tube. Troubleshoot by following these steps. Remove any heat moisture exchanger, or HME, speaking valve, or cap. Look, listen, and feel at the mouth and tracheostomy to check for any blockages in the tube or excessive secretions. Attempt to pass a suction catheter. If there is a blockage, gently suction the tube using a sterile suction catheter. You can use a few drops of saline to help break up any thick mucus and suction again. If you are unable to pass the catheter, remove the inner cannula and try suctioning again using sterile saline drops and a self-inflating bag if available to break up mucus and suction again. If the problem persists, seek medical help. If breathing has stopped, this is an emergency. You must call 911 immediately. Rarely, the tracheostomy device may become partially or completely dislodged from the airway. This can be caused by vigorous coughing or loose trach ties. Your emergency equipment should include two spare trach tubes, one that is the same size and another that is one size smaller. Inside the new trach, there will be a solid firm tube called an obturator or applicator that will help get the trach tube back in the trachea easier. You should also have some water-soluble lubricant available. In case of accidental dislodgement, proceed with the following steps. Stay calm. Place the patient flat on their back with the head tilted slightly upwards and the chin lifted. Remove the new trach tube from the box and insert the obturator into the trach tube without the inner cannula. Apply water-soluble lubricant to the outer surface of the new trach tube. Guide the trach tube into the tracheal stoma 90 degrees and rotate downwards. If there is resistance or difficulty reinserting the same size trach, do not attempt to force it in. If you have determined difficulty with the same size trach, insert the spare, smaller sized one. Once the trach tube is inserted, remove the obturator immediately, keeping two fingers on the faceplate. Place the new inner cannula and secure the new tube with a trach tie. Leave only enough room to place two fingers underneath. If you are not able to reinsert the smaller trach, call 911. Place the call on speakerphone so you can have your hands free to help with interventions as instructed. There can be various causes of airway bleeding, most commonly trauma from suctioning, vigorous coughing or dry secretions from not using a humidification device known as HME, or humidified air can cause bleeding as well. Monitor the amount of blood that is being produced and reduce any actions that may be contributing to the bleeding. If it is more than a tablespoon of blood, contact medical help. You will spend time working with your care team to review the distinct types of emergencies that can happen in individuals with tracheostomy tubes. It is important that you understand the airway anatomy and learn how to recognize and react to an emergency and when to call for assistance.